Hello, my name's Jeff Gill, and I'm a member of the Munson Springs Steering Committee, which is an advisory commission that was formed by the Village of Granville Village Council to uh, give them some advice and input on what to do with a 57 and a half acre parcel on the east side of the village. And that's where I'm standing right here. So what I want you to uh, hear in this uh, quick video overview I've been asked to put together is uh, why did the village buy this and what are we considering as a village with this property? It is a uh, parcel that uh, borders on the south on Newark Granville Road right across from the intersection with Cherry Valley Road and it goes up into uh, really the foothills of the Welsh Hills. So it's got a lower portion of about 22 acres and a slope and upper portion that's on top of the hill, which is where I'm standing, which is about 37 and a half acres. This property had been owned by a Licking County family for many years, and then they uh, sold it to a developer who looked into some options. And uh, as they considered density and other possibilities, uh, the development did not go forward, but the issue that brought Village Council into the picture is that uh, some of the well, let's just say within what is permitted currently under our zoning guidelines for the village could have cost the village five to seven million dollars in mandatory infrastructure they'd have to add to support that density. So they spent uh, about uh, 2.75 million to purchase it, but there was a, uh, a give back by the property owner at the time. So uh, the net cost of the village was about 2.2 million. So you can see right there the potential cost of five to seven million for it to be developed to its maximum potential versus the cost. But then the next question was, as we look at this parcel, and I'm turning so that now you're looking behind me to the south and towards Newark Granville Road, that lower level portion, the 22 acres, some consideration has been given to uh, how might that be developed to uh, maximize the return to the village socially, economically, in terms of the tax base. And again, keep in mind, if we simply resell this parcel, it could be developed to a point where the village has to lay out a considerable sum to support that. So with some money that also came in from the state to allow us to develop this upper portion as a park, the decision has effectively already been made to take this uh, upper level, the top, of the hill, the 37 acres to the north, and uh, reserve that for public and uh, some kind of park-like purposes. That part's still in development. What we've been doing in the years since the village bought this parcel, and we've been meeting monthly, sometimes twice a month in the last year, the Munson Springs Steering Committee is uh, hearing input from different community groups, and we're uh, gathering information on our own, and we're preparing a report back to Village Council uh, we've already made two con contingent or uh, short-term reports, but we'll come back to them and say, here are kind of our ideas for how you might develop or make use of the lower 22 acres, what uh, interests we think would be served and how that would turn out for the village. And uh, in the end, Village Council will make that decision. So that's why the village of Granville now owns this property. And that's what we've spent the last year doing. And hopefully at some point in 2023, you'll hear more about our recommendations. I hope that helps. Take care.